Uh, but the thing I really want to talk about is the loss of Mahathir. I mm. think this is a huge, huge moment in Malaysian mm. politics. In some ways, it's the closing of an era in Malaysian politics because not only did he lose, but another long-serving member, in fact, the longest-serving MP in Malaysia, Tunku Razali, has also lost. Uh, these two people uh, represented a generation all the way back to the 70s. In other words, the founding of the Barisan National mm. Coalition in the 70s. But in the case of Mahathir, I can say that um, he is a highly, highly divisive, divisive figure in Malaysia. On the one hand, he is widely respected for what he did in his first term as Prime Minister. But I think a lot of people are in agreement that he made a huge mistake in coming back the second term. Because what will happen now is because of the nature of his loss, mm. including losing his deposit, I think he, the history or his legacy will be very, very different now compared to if he had not come back as the Prime Minister a second time round. Uh, but in terms of the really interesting things is that I would argue that uh, the people who will be really glad to see him go will probably be the Chinese community. Because there are many people in the Chinese community who equate Mahathir with a period where they think they suffer most discrimination. A lot mm -hmm. of the discrimination policies against the non malays were instituted during his time. So I think a lot of the Chinese uh, will say that, yes, uh, in some ways, it's the, it's, the, it's the end of an era, but in some ways, you know, we're glad to see him out. But I think in general, I think Malaysians in general uh, knew that his time was coming, mm. but I don't think anybody expected him to lose his deposit. So badly. Yeah, yeah six point something yeah. percent. No, no, no. Losing a deposit in Malaysia is the ultimate sign that you're being rejected by, by, by the people. So I think, uh, and I'm not letting any cigarettes out by saying that uh, GTA, his... his his coalition is on track to get zero. So he, he's not only is he completely finished, but I think his legacy will be written in a completely different way. In other words, you should know when to quit. Now, very quickly, a comment from you, Dr. Johan, and we have to have one more mm. thing on the economy. Mahathir. Sorry? About... Mahathir, one more comment to Mahathir. And then oh, yeah, Mahathir, yes. Yeah, I think I agree with, uh, with uh, James. I think the, the, the whole question of Mahathir is really hangs around the idea of hub the, the notion of hubris, that he wasn't ready to see that he, you know, it was, it was his time to actually stop uh, doing what he was doing. He just thought that he could carry on. And I think people don't, don't forget, you see, I mean, people remember that he was the one responsible indirectly for what happened in the Sheraton move, right? He resigned as prime minister. So there is that lack of forgiveness there. So his failure to relinquish as he agreed as to he agreed that to, position yeah. to Anwar Ibrahim. Right, exactly. 